Today I got a cool video to show you guys because I just got a new TV. It's not just any TV, it's the Toshiba Fire TV Edition. So it's a 4K smart TV from Toshiba with a Fire TV built into it. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know if you're ever considering buying one of these things. They're pretty inexpensive for a 4K smart TV. So far I really like this one, so I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys today. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing I want to show you guys is just simply the remote control that it comes with. As you can see, it looks very similar to a Fire TV remote, but this one's a little bit modified. So in the top right, a new button here is the power button. You can actually control the TV with it. It's actually really nice because I don't need any more remotes other than this. And sometimes I don't even need this, I just use my phone. You can download the Fire TV app and control this whole TV with your phone. So it also has this Alexa voice button. You guys are familiar with that. I can hold this down and tell Alexa to turn on my lights or turn off my lights. I can also tell it to look up certain shows and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool to have. Some other new buttons here is the plus and minus for the volume, of course, and that's the mute button. This is the TV guide button to basically bring up a menu of all the shows that are on, similar to like a cable box guide. The purpose for that is if you have a TV antenna hooked up to this to get all your local channels for free, you can actually press this button, see all the channels, and see what's currently airing. And there's these four buttons at the bottom for shortcuts to certain apps. But yeah, I just thought this remote was really cool. Part of the reason I bought this TV so now I'm going to show you the TV itself, the ports on the side and back of it. So let's go do that. These are the ports on the side here. The first one here is just a USB port. Now something cool with that, you can actually plug in a USB hub like this one here and give you some extra USB ports. So the purpose for those ports is going to be plugging in USB drives for extra memory. You can plug in keyboards. Another use is if you have a streaming device like this, Google Chromecast right here, that's powered off of USB. I can just literally plug in the Google Chromecast to a port here and then power it strictly off that USB port. So that prevents me from having any more wires going to the surge protector down below. Since it has the Fire TV built into it, there's one cable that goes down to a power strip and that's it. So there's absolutely like no clutter on my TV stand anymore and it's awesome. As you guys can see, the TV's kind of on the thicker side. Are you calling me fat? No, Alexa, not everything is about you. So anyway, back to the ports on the side. So that's the first one, that's a USB port. Then you got three HDMI for different things like gaming consoles and other streaming devices, DVD players, whatever you have. This port here is the optical audio for certain sound bars. Then the next one is a eighth inch headphone jack. Mostly what that's for is plugging in speakers that have an auxiliary jack. So if I turn this a little bit, there's more ports at the bottom here. You can see there's composite ports for the like yellow, white, and red jacks. So you do still have that option. The port next to it, it's an ethernet port. This TV is capable of using Wi-Fi, but if you wanna do a hardwired connection, you still can. All right, and this next port here is coax for TV antennas. If you have a TV antenna, you can hook it up to this and get your local stations for free as long as you're in range, and you'll be able to see the channels on the TV guide button that I showed you earlier. On the other side of the TV here, there's the power button, of course, which can also be used to control the inputs, but that's the hard way. You can obviously use the remote control to turn on and off the TV. And I'm gonna show you how to change the inputs when I get to the TV itself. I'll show you how easy it is. And then the back is just the power cable. All right, I hope you guys can see this pretty well. This is the screensaver going on right now. And it kind of gives you a glimpse of how good the picture quality is. I know that the camera is not going to do its justice. It looks really nice. The colors are popping out. And so far it's been a really high quality picture. And I have no complaints. So this is what you get when you set up your TV. And you log into your Amazon account. Looks just like the Fire Stick. But there is some changes. So I've already downloaded some apps. But what I want to show you is if you go down. You see this section here which isn't on a Fire TV. And this is where you switch from HDMI 1 two, three, your antenna and your composite cables. So there is no input button on the remote. You have to go to the home page and that's how you're gonna switch your source. So that's the only difference on the home page that I want to show you. The other changes are gonna be in the settings. You can see that there's a few new menus here. This is where you're gonna be able to change the display and the picture settings. 
So another section you'll see here is live TV. And if you have a TV antenna hooked up, this is where you're gonna be able to set it up. Of course, it has Bluetooth just like a Fire TV, so you can connect Bluetooth keyboards and Bluetooth gaming controllers. You got a sleep timer, and then you got the device and software menu. This is where you can mess with the developer options and things like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the software. I really like that this is built in because I don't need any device plugged into it. It just automatically has the Fire TV. Now, of course, since there is HDMI ports, you are able to hook up other streaming devices. You don't have to just use the Fire TV. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. If you guys have any questions about it, just let me know. I've been messing with this a lot since it's came out of the box. So far, the experience has been like flawless. I love it. It's not the best TV you can possibly get, but this 50 inch version is only 379 on Amazon. It actually comes in three sizes. This is the 50 inch. There's a 55 inch and I believe a 43 inch. I can link all of them below for you. But yeah guys, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about it. I'll tell you whatever you need to know. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in my next video.